Hey FlossTube friends, I'm so excited to announce my January releases. This is one of, this is what we do it for. <laughs> to see them fully finished and to have them ready for you to be able to order and make them yourselves. This is the best part. So today is Saturday, January 4th. I will be probably posting this video either Sunday the uh, 5th or Monday the 6th. Monday the 6th at the latest. The purpose of showing this video early before they're actually going to, before the patterns are actually going to be shipped is so that you can see them and if there's something you want, you can contact your local needle workshop, your LNS, and let them know, hey, Teresa's coming out with this pattern. This is, I want, you know, I want this one or whatever. And then that way stores will know how much to order from me. And it just helps things to flow better. So these patterns that I'm going to show you today, they will start shipping on Monday, January 13th. So it's a week from this coming Monday. So that should be enough time for everyone to, you know, get their orders organized and placed. So let's start with punch needle. Y'all have seen these, I'm sure by now. <laughs> My punch needle ornaments that I just love and adore. This was something very new for me that I decided to try. And I just love how they turned out. I also did a finishing tutorial on how I finish these. And that is up on my blog. So on this particular pattern, on the back of the pattern or somewhere in the pattern will be an, a web address where you can go and watch a video on how you can finish yours in the same way if you're interested. Both of these will be in one pattern. It is PN231 Santa and Reindeer Punch Needle Ornaments. The measurements are three and a quarter by six and a half. And they got these little bells on the bottom. So cute. So then we have the other two in that series. And this is PN232 Snowman and house punch needle ornament set. These two will be in a pattern together. And they have the same measurements, uh, three and a quarter by six and a half. Then we have punch needle 230 blue ribbon. This happened to be in the punch needle primitive stitchers magazine summer of 2018. And I don't have this, I didn't record myself videotaping this because it was two years ago. <laughs> but I know I will be recording myself adhering one to an antique book just for the fact that it's how I do a lot of my finishing. That angel in the background is making it so that it will not focus. It's like I need to put a bag over her head. <laughs> You know what? Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I had to move my camera because the camera kept focusing on the angel's face that was in the background. And then I tried to cover it with something and it wasn't working. So anyways, I just, my apologies. Let's get back to it. So this is blue ribbon and it measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then last but not least, so this one is not quite fully finished. This is actually something that my friend's nephew made for me. And it's to sit in your kitchen, you put a little candle in here, there's a hole there. You put a candle in there and it's to like put your cookbook on or something when you're cooking. But I think it's really cute way to display this, but I didn't adhere it to it. And I'll tell you why. I scanned this and I sent this to Park Designs that makes uh, chair pads and runners and all kinds of cool hooked rug things. And I sent this to him and he said, oh my gosh, we love that. When can you send it? So I don't want to adhere it to something big because they end up, they have to end up sending this like to India. I think they get their things made in India now. So I couldn't adhere it to anything. But anywho, this is the finished punch needle and it's called 
neighborhood. It's PN229 neighborhood. It measures six and three quarters by 11 inches. So this is a large one, but it had to be large to get all that detail and it's so very pretty. And I'm really hoping that Park Designs does make runners in um, rugs and what I really hope they make is a big rug. They used to make these huge rugs like for your living room, wouldn't that be cool? So say a little prayer <laughs> that they do that. All right, so that's it for my punch needle release and on to our cross stitch. So the first one is cross stitch 216 Be Kind. This one I did record myself finishing it so you will be able to finish it this way as well if you wish and this piece that has got the galvanized tin on it is from Hobby Lobby and I have the item number and everything on the little tutorial that's over on my blog. So, so basically what I did is I just have two pieces of sticky board covered with uh, homespun fabric and then I adhered the cross stitch to sticky board as well and then I adhered this to this finished piece and then I added this bow. And the bow had a pine cone on it and I didn't want that so I ripped that off and I used this cute little beeswax B instead. Is this not adorable? So there's Be Kind. I was going to hold that off for Nashville, but I thought, you know what? When it's wintry, why not work on something that's kind of spring? Okay, next for cross stitch, we have two homes. Now, I didn't do the finishing on these. The lovely and very talented Vanna Pfeiffer finished these for me. So I don't have any instructions on it. And if she has this kind of finishing available on her blog or on her YouTube channel, I'll put a link below to that. But this is called Two Homes. The small one is two and a half inches diameter and the large one is three and a half inch diameter and they come in one pattern. So when you order, order the pattern, you'll get both of these. But look at her finishing. Look how amazing she did. What I can do is I will list the, the um, things that we used for the finishing. The candle stands I got from Hobby Lobby. And they probably still have these. I don't know. I haven't looked in a long time. So there's a close-up. So thank you, Vanna, for such, doing such a beautiful job finishing these. I just think they're super, super cute. All right, so that was my second release. Now the third one is the Fabulous Monsters ornaments, and I love them so much. These will also, both of these will also be in the same pattern, okay? So first we have Skelly. Skelly measures four and three quarters by two and a half with stitch two over two on 32 count linen, uh, Dames of the Needle, which is brew. And I did record myself finishing this cute little ornament and that's over on my blog, so I'll have a link below. <sighs> so I don't even know if I was recording a little while ago, so I'm gonna go through this again. My battery died, so I just switch out the battery. All right, so I'm trying to remember where I left off because my sweet, adorable, and very handsome son popped by to say hi. So it's been a little while. I'm not sure where I left off. But anyway, this is Fabulous Monsters Series 1 Party Pete. Measures 4, 3 quarters by 4 and a half. It was stitched 2 over 2, 32 count linen, Dames of the Needle, which is brew. Isn't that adorable? And that's also Dames of the Needle pom-pom trim on him. And then on this one, this is uh, Lady Dots Creates uh, Jack Chanel. So I just thought I would let you know that. So these two come in one pattern. And then I didn't mention uh, Be Kind. That was two over two on 35 count linen, Weeks Dye Works Corn Silk. And then uh, Two Homes. That was uh, two over two on 32 count weeks dye works. 
corn silk as well. So there you have it. So I off to a great start for 2020. I'm so excited about these patterns and I hope that they have a warm welcome from everybody and thank you for your support and thank you so much for just everything here on Floss Tube. So, and I just want to remind you, please support your local needle workshop, your LNS. I will have these on my Etsy shop if you don't have an LNS near you. That's, that's like, no, if you don't have an LNS, but I will not have these available on my Etsy shop for at least two weeks because I like to give my shops plenty of time to get their patterns in and for people to purchase from them. And then I will eventually have them on my Etsy shop too. So thanks again, everyone for your support. Bye now.